Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here to look into washing machines and the magnetic fields that you find around them. I'm going to use a tri-field meter, it's the Model 100 XE. As you can see right now, we actually have a very large pulsating magnetic field coming from this machine. And uh, we're on the 0 to 100 milligauss range. And you can see that it's very, very high magnetic fields. Um, when we're right around the control panel, you can see that those fields are actually off the scale. And to get out of these fields, we need to step back about five feet from the machine. And as we walk up to it, we notice that those fields get very, very large. Something to be aware of is if people were on the other side of this wall, say there was a sofa or a bed or an office on the other side of the wall, they were sitting there, they may inadvertently find that they're in a very high-powered, pulsating electromagnetic field. And this field is also present down here. This is where the motor is. So we can definitely see it's the washing machine. And these fields vary with the part of the cycle that the machine is on. And I should mention that in this machine, right behind here is the variable frequency drive control board. And right behind here is the computer system that drives the machine. So my advice to you is if you have a washing machine, when you put it on for its cycle, you should leave the area until the cycle finishes because these fields are much higher than what you find under power lines. And power lines generally don't fluctuate like this. So the fact that this is higher than a power line and it's pulsating makes it a particularly toxic field to be in. And uh, you value your health. I would advise you to stay away from your washing machine when it's running. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.